Everybody in this room has got to be wondering the same question. Who, in your opinion, both of you, is the next Warren Buffett? Mm -hmm. Charlie? Who's the next Charlie Munger? Well, let's try that first. That's, that's a more difficult question. <laughs> There's not much demand. <laughs> I don't think there's only one way to succeed in life, and, and our successors in due time may be different in, in many ways, and they may do better. Incidentally, we have a number of people in the company, some of whom are in this room today, and the ones you saw on that screen, who are leagues ahead of of Charlie and me in, in, in various kinds of abilities. I mean, there's a lot of different talents. We've got a fellow in this room tonight today who's the best bridge player probably in the world. And Charlie and I could work night and day, and if he spent 10 minutes a week working on it, he'd play better bridge than we would. And, and uh, all kinds of intellectual endeavors that for some reason or another, one person's a little bit better wired for than, than someone else. And uh, we have people running our businesses that, if Charlie and I were put in charge of those businesses, we, we couldn't do remotely as, as, as well as they do. So there's, there's a lot of different talents. The, the, the two that we're responsible for is keep able people who are already rich, uh, motivated to keep, uh, keep working at things where they don't need to do it for financial, don't need to do it for financial reasons. I mean, it's, it's that simple. And, and, and that's, that's, that's a problem any of you could think about. Uh, and and you'd, you'd probably be quite good at it if you, if you gave it a little thought because you'd figure out what would cause you to work if you were already rich and uh, didn't need the job. Why would you jump out of bed and be excited about going to work that day? And then we try to apply that to the people who work with us. Secondly, we have to allocate capital. And these days we have to allocate a lot more capital than we had to allocate uh, a decade ago. That job is very tough at present. Sometimes it's very easy, and it will be easy at times in the future, and it'll be difficult at times in the future. But there are other people that can allocate capital, and, and uh, we have we have them we have them in the company. Charlie, you have any? No. Okay. Zone three. Jane Bell, Des Moines. Since I became a Berkshire Hathaway shareholder, I've been coming to these meetings. This is my second. I've been coming to these meetings ever since I've been a shareholder. <laughs> Mr. Buffett, I'm a partner and owner in a consulting business, and we tell our clients and potential clients that we design solutions for what keeps them awake at night. Mr. Buffett, from your perspective as an investor, what keeps you awake at night? Yeah. Well, that's a good question, and I, that's one I always ask the managements of our subsidiaries as well as uh, any any new investment. I want to know what their nightmare is. Uh, Andy Grove, in his book, uh, Only the Paranoid Survive, talks about the silver bullet for a competitor. So in terms of a, if you only had one silver bullet, which competitor would you fire it at? And it's not a bad question. And uh, your question's a little broader. If you only had one worry that you could get rid of, what would it be? I would say that I would, uh, Char, I, I'm, and I think I speak for Charlie, I'll let him do it, but we really don't worry. Uh, you know, we, we will do the best we can. And when we have capital allocated, sometimes it's very easy to do. Sometimes it's, it's almost impossible to do. But we're not going to worry about it because, it, you know, it, it, the world changes. And uh, uh, if we had something we were worried about in the business, we would correct it. We're, 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 I'm not worried about anything. I'm not really worried about... about uh, you know, we can lose a billion dollars on a California earthquake, uh, uh, but I'm not worried about it, although I have a sister who's in the audience that lives in California. I've, I've told her to call me quickly if the dogs start running in circles or anything like that. <laughs> uh, but there's, there's, you know, if you're worried about something, the thing to do is, is, is get it corrected and get back to sleep. Uh, and, and I can't think of anything I'm worried about at Berkshire. That doesn't mean that I have, a, I have any good ideas as to what we... Uh, should be doing with a lot of a whole lot of money that we have around, but you know I can't do anything about that except keep looking for things that I might understand and, and do something with the money. And if, if they aren't there, they aren't there, and we'll 
We'll see what happens tomorrow and next week and next month and next year. Charlie, what are you worried about? Well, in the 30-some years I've been watching you, I would say what it takes to make you not sleep at night is an illness in the family. Mm -hmm. Short of that, uh, Warren likes the game. I like the game. And even in the periods that look tough to other people, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> in fact, it probably is the most... <laughs> It, it sort of, it is the most, I mean, we, we define tough times differently than other people would, but, but our idea of tough times is like now, and our idea of, uh, we don't feel it's tough times when the market's going down a lot or anything of the sort. So we, we are having a good time uh, then. I mean, it, uh, we don't want to sound like undertakers during a plague or anything, but, uh, uh, but it, it, there's really, uh, you know, it makes no difference to us whether, whether our, some the price of Berkshire is going up or down. We're trying to figure out ways to make the the, the company worth more money years down the road. And if we figure that out, the stock will take care of itself. So, and usually when the stock is going down, uh, it means other things are going down, and that it, it's it's a better chance for us to deploy capital, and that's our business. So, we you will not see us worrying. And maybe we should. You know what may worry? <laughs> no, uh, zone four.